Goeiemorgen, good morning to our missions message. Uh, good morning to our uh, new friends at Optic Missions Church. Uh, welcome by your sending boodskap. This morning is about Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. I think, uh, yes, um, there's been a lot of challenges this year. Uh, ons was rarig uitgedaag, um, vooral met die pandemie. We really faced hard times, some of us, through this time of this pandemic. And I think today is appropriate. Before we go into the celebration of the Christ child season, the birth of Jesus Christ, the gift to the world, before we start focusing on that, I think today is, it's good to look back at 2020, uh, this challenging year, and that we learn from the past so we can have a clear vision for this uh, Christ child birth celebration season. I think we are so much thankful to be. I know a lot of friends who have had a hard time, colleagues, friends, people, people who are near us. And a lot of these people have had salaries cut, there are people near us who have had their work lost, and so forth. But it is not seen by Optic, so far as I know, Het ons daarom niemand aan die dood afgestaan nie. As far as I know, uh, we haven't lost anyone of our members on Optic. So praise God. Praise God for the blood of Jesus. And let me remind you from the outset. Let's not drop the God now over December. Please, let's stick to the COVID protection rules. It's there for our protection. Ons moet nie nou die bal uitval nie. Kom ons bly paraat in hierdie seisoen en onthou, geen persoon is immuun teen die virus nie. Selfs a christen, ons is nie immuun teen die virus nie. We're not immune to this virus. However, we have the hope of the blood. We know that God allowed the Israelites in the desert to be attacked by the snakes, but whoever that were bitten by the snakes looked up at the cross, the brazen cross, and they looked at the snake that Moses put on, this copper snake on this cross. And everybody that was bitten by the uh, uh, snake in the desert looked up the cross and they were healed from the snake bites and poison and no one died that trusted in the faith of the cross. And that same faith, that same protection we have is in the blood of Jesus in John 3, that he now is on the cross. He is our cross of salvation. He is our uh, cross of safety. We are privileged to be under the blood covenant. But don't act irresponsible. Don't attempt to God. Rather, play it safe. You don't want the symptoms. However, we are safe. Let's get to this message of thanksgiving. And I want to start this morning, if you don't mind, it's going to be a, a bit of a bilingual. Okay, Angie, enough. That's Angie. I'm not going to stop now. I'm almost halfway <laughs> That's Angie. Just ignore her. She's uh, uh, always a bit on edge. Kom ons herinner jylle dan van Psalm 100. Oproep om God te prijs. Juig voor die Heere, oor ganse aarde. Dien die Heere met blijdschap. Kom voor sy aangesig met gejubel. Erken dat die Heere God is. Hy het ons gemaakt en ons is syne. Sy volk die skape van sy weide. Gaan sy poorte in met lof. Sy voorhoofde met lof gesang. Loof om, prijs sy naam, want die Heere is goed. Sy goeder tierenheid is tot in eeuwigheid. Laat ek herhaal. Sy goeder tierenheid is tot in eeuwigheid, en sy trouw van geslag tot geslag. Mense, is dit nie waar nie. Hierdie lofprys en danksegging besalm, kan ons rechtig terugkyk hierdie jaar 2020, en dit vandag achter ons sit. Um, en kom ons, wees liever dankbaar, vir ons sieninge, en ons vergeet die verliese, en die negatieve verlede. Then, uh, in English, then quickly Psalm 100, um, 
Make a joyful shout to the Lord, all your lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who has made us and not ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. I repeat, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name, for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. Isn't this a wonderful and appropriate uh, psalm for today? As we look back in thanksgiving and gratitude, and then our last text from 1 Thessalonians 5, 14, we urge you, our brothers and sisters, to warn the idle, encourage the timid, help the weak, be patient with everyone. I'm uh, repeating, encourage the timid, help the weak, be patient with everyone. In Thessalonians 5. And on standard, be joyful always, pray at all times, be thankful in all circumstances. Agarol, I repeat, be thankful in all circumstances. Yes, that is honestly what we can do. I think today we're just going to praise the Lord and we're going to thank the Lord from the bottom of our hearts that we are still spared for one another, that we are still safe, that we are still healthy for that matter. And that God is still providing for us. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, thank you for the blood of Jesus, for keeping us healthy. And also, thank you, Lord Jesus. Um, I had my once a year routine uh, blood tests for my colon. Uh, I remember I had colon cancer two and a half years ago. Praise the Lord. Already two and a half years. I'm a colon cancer survivor. All glory to God. Thank you, Jesus, for your precious blood. Jehovah Rapha, the Lord that heals. That is my testimony and my gratitude today. It's from the bottom of my heart that I've had and got a second chance. Thank you, Father God. I feel your mercy and I feel your love. Thank you for the provision in my life. Thank you for my beloved uh, friends and family. I haven't lost anyone to COVID. Now, let me quickly remind you of Ephesians 2.8. There's a salvation message for us to be happy about. Happy about Ephesians 2.8. We are saved by grace through faith. We are saved by grace through faith. This is a gift from God. This is not out of our own works, so we cannot boast and say, yes, I've done it through perfection or merit. Isn't that wonderful? Paraphrased by me a little bit. We are saved by grace through faith. In other words, salvation is a saving grace. And after that, it's a maturing grace. A maturing process in the school of love. Let me explain. I want you to remember back, uh, I'm sure most of us on, on varsity or then school, had this opportunity to go on a, a sports event bus or a holiday bus or maybe a civilian bus for some reason. And we used to enjoy those outings. The, first of all, it was nice to get away from the parents. <laughs> so you with your schoolmates for a weekend or a school holiday. And we would go onto that bus with the joy and, and expectation. And this is what this redemption journey is all about. Um, first of all, we responded. God offered us a free grace bus ticket, salvation. And out of faith, we responded to God and we took that free bus to a ticket. It was offered to us unconditionally. We received that bus ticket out of faith. And trust, we got onto the bus. Now you're saved, my friend. This is the good news. It's something to be happy about. Now you are saved. Jesus said, no one will pluck you out of my hand. No one will pluck you out of my hand. We are saved. Eternal security. Hallelujah for that. 
And the second phase is simply a formality where in the school of love we mature and we learn how to love more and more. Not to earn salvation, but to confirm salvation. Not to earn salvation, but to earn salvation. What am I saying? We trust the bus driver. Jesus Christ He's behind the wheel of this bus. We trust the bus driver, Jesus. We trust the co-driver, the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit during this uh, holiday bus trip will uh, convict us of, of, of uh, when we trespass. And, and he will guide us, empower us, etc. And the angels on the bus would serve us. Isn't that beautiful? Would serve us with uh, drinks and so on. But the emphasis for me on this beautiful grace redemption bus trip is rest, my friend. Rest. Rest. We've all had a hard year. Some of us are privileged enough to go on holidays. Some would just go for a short bus trip. And I want to remind you and emphasize rest. It's time to rest. It's time to take a break. Don't work on the bus. You are now a grace passenger. You are sitting back and just enjoying the ride. Look at the scenery. Enjoy the holiday. Enjoy the love, the joy. And then always the, the choruses on the bus and the team spirit, the shouting and chanting. Praise the Lord with thanksgiving. Praise the Lord. And, and mature in this time, the, this season of rest. Getting to the word, the logos, the bread of Christ, Jesus Christ himself. Pray and get more intimate with the bus driver, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit on that bus. Enjoy it. And my friend, here's the good news. If you feel you've dropped off from the bus during this way, don't worry. God's mercy will reach out to you and Jesus will stop the bus just for you to get back on. Isn't that awesome? Jesus will stop that bus because you belong to him so you can get back on. Forgive yourself, forgive others, take this time for confession and then remember. Uh, this is an uncertain season still. Uh, maybe you're getting to a car, maybe there's some kind of unfortunate accident that can happen. My friend, I want to beg you, don't delay. If you haven't received Jesus Christ, if you haven't given over the wheel to Jesus Christ, you can trust Him. He's a Savior and Redeemer of the world. After this clip, immediately go onto your knees and receive Jesus Christ as your only Savior and Redeemer.